Hello everyone. So in this video, I am going to show you how to run a Prolog program. For this, you, what you need to do uh, is first of all you need to download the Prolog. So you basically search for uh, uh, Prolog over the internet, and you can follow any one of these links. I follow mostly this one. So here you can find out the download for Prolog. Uh, I usually use this one, SWI Prolog. So once you download and install it, the next step is to create a simple text file. And I will name it Hello World. The next thing you need to do is, with the Prolog, the extension that works is PL. So I changed it. And then what you need to do is, you can paste the code of any of the program that you want to run. For example, I'm interested in this particular code, so I can write it manually or just paste it over here. What this program is about, it contains seven facts. These are the facts. Uh, it says that Instructor Chain is teaching MAT 273 course, Instructor Patel is teaching EE 222 course, and Instructor Grossman is teaching CS301. Furthermore, it says that uh, student Kevin is enrolled in Math 273, Joanna in WE222, and so on. And this is our new predicate, a rule. It says that teaches P, S depends on instructor P, C, and enroll S, C. So we want to run this program. It's very simple. Uh, the next thing we need to do is to double click on this. Okay, then we need to edit that particular program that we have run. It will a new window will appear. So what we need to do next is to make it will compile it. If there are any errors, it will let you know. If there aren't any, it will say it's done. Next step is to run this program. We select the consult button from the file and then we select the file and then the program is ready to run. So if we uh, ask a particular query from this program, for example, teaches x, Juana. Juana is a student, so it will return her teachers to us. x equals to Patel and x equals to Crossman, and it is perfect according to our knowledge. Thanks for watching.